lot of folks stop at truck stops. They just naturally think they should. Cause they figure any place a truck driver eats the food's just got to be good. So they go out there amongst all them truck drivers, sitting around talking low. They're talking about women and stuff like that and how fast them trucks will go. There's the little old place out on 66 where a lot of the drivers stop and get their kicks. Reckless eyeball and his waitress, they got called Flo. There's always a bunch in here hanging out, cutting up and talking about how she wiggles when she walks and stuff like that, and how fast them trucks look up. What's the wonder fella can sit down and eat is how many eggs are his bread and meat with a good looking woman like that around and on the go. First thing you know you get to fidgeting and fussing and a nudging one another instead of discussing how she wiggles when she walks and stuff like that and how fast them trucks will go. She just takes it all in stride and swells all up with her woman pride. She's tickled plum pink, you come in to see the show. She throws a little old extra wiggle in that walk and you just sit there and grin and talk about homemade loving and stuff like that and how fast them trucks will go. I can't explain how it makes you feel, but you tip her five bucks on a two dollar meal. Get yourself together and start heading out kind of slow. While you're pushing that diesel on down the line, you get to thinking about your woman you left behind, how she wiggles when she walks and stuff like that, and how fast them trucks are going. It was his first trip to Boston, he was having lots of luck. He was going the wrong direction down a one-way street in town. And this is what he said when the police chased him down. Give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. It's the easiest way that I've found. Some guys can turn it on a dime or turn it right downtown. But I need 40 acres to turn this rig around. When he finally found where to unload, he had a dreadful shock. His trailer pointed toward the road and his cab right to the dock. And as he looked around him, through his tears he made this sound. Oh, give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. Give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. It's the easiest way that I've found. Some guys can turn it on a dime or turn it right downtown. But I need 40 acres to turn this rig around. When he finally got unloaded, he was glad to leave the town. He was very, very happy going back to Alabama. When up ahead he saw a sign said, you are northward bound. He said, give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. It's the easiest way that I've found Some guys can turn it on a dime or turn it right downtown But I need 40 acres to turn this rig around He was driving down the right lane when ahead he saw a sign And he had to make a left turn but he could not get in line And the tears were streaming down his cheeks and they all heard him yell Give me 40 sticks of dynamite off on this thing to give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. It's the easiest way that I've found. Some guys can turn it on a dime or turn it right downtown. But I need 40 acres to turn this rig around. Cold 
those hard driving truckers here jamming day and night have got a real tough job to stand up to high-falling down a highway in a big long diesel rig is not a job just anyone can do but there's a lot of credit due to a fine group of girls they're the truckers wives who wait for their men when they kiss them goodbye and watch the taillights fade it's a lonely wait until they're home again he may be gone three days or maybe two weeks and everything is left in her care like paying bills and cutting grass and fixing kids their meals she's the woman behind the man behind the wheel of woman has to share a love affair with that long stretch of highway on his mind but she knows that he loves her more than anything she's a trucker's wife and that's the greatest kind and as he sips his coffee you can bet she's on his mind oh and he's driving down that highway all alone and that sleeper show gets lonely parked at a big truck stop compared to being in her arms at home now we've sung songs and praises about the trucking man and they're true but let's save one little spiel for all the truckers wives because after all she's the woman behind the man behind the wheel she's the woman behind the man behind the wheel Something big That 
big red diesel roared to life and Bill was L.A. bound. The wheels were humming one to ten as he rolled out of town. Twenty hundred RPM were showing on the tack, but no one knew this was the last long ride for Billy On that mountain range Where dead ahead A pickup full Of kids blocked both the lane Bill hit the air Then he fell His trailer slide and sway And the pickup driver Made no move To help him clear the way Think of wonder as he fought the wheel. Then Billy Mac was buried under twenty tons of steel. One life for ten has always been a diesel driver's code. Well, that's why Billy slung that widow maker. Big and burly men who roll the trucks along 
listen, you'll be thankful when you hear my song. You really ain't got it made if you're hauling goods any place on earth except those Hainesville woods. It's a stretch of road up north in Maine that's never, ever, ever seen a smile. If they buried all the truckers lost in them woods, there'd be a tombstone every mile. When you're loaded with potatoes and you're driving down, you've got to drive that road to get to Boston town. When it's winter up in Maine, better think it over twice. That Haynesville road is just a ribbon of ice. It's a stretch of road up north in Maine that's never, ever, ever seen a smile. When they buried all the truckers lost in them woods, there'd be a tombstone every mile. When you're talking to a trucker that's been hauling goods along that stretch of road they call the Hainesville Woods, he'll tell you that dying and going down below is not as bad as driving on that road of ice and snow. It's a stretch of road up north in Maine that's never, ever, ever seen a smile. If they buried all the truckers lost in them woods, there'd be a tombstone every mile. There'd be a tombstone every mile. Chicago to St. Louis, Lord, I see her every day. I double clutch and weasel like me, can hardly ever get a girl. Look at him, by the way. Smiling like the girl wearing nothing but a smile and a towel in the picture on the billboard in the field near the big old highway. Wow, what a girl wearing nothing but a smile and a towel in the picture on the billboard in the field near the big old highway. I bet it wouldn't take her very long to get gone if someone would pull a dirty trick and take her towel away. I slow my 
give it down to 20 that's how many wrecks i see there every day calls by the girl wearing nothing but a smile and a towel in the picture on the billboard in the field near the big old highway i do do you do I'm getting bolder cause I'd rather kiss and hold her than just keep a looking at her every day. At 4.45, coffee drinking, eating time, Jimmy shimmies while I wake up the artist that painted the display. Of the girl wearing nothing but a smile and a towel in the picture on the billboard in the field near the big old highway. Real, better get the all my way. On Route 66 from the Billboard to Chicago, you'll find tiny pieces of my heart scattered elbow which away. Shattered by the girl wearing nothing but a smile and a towel in the picture on the billboard in the field near the big old highway. I do 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 do. shooting the pinball and started to lie for a truck driver job I qualified I got the job and started up the road I got lost on the very first load but that's truck driving well I asked a man at a country store how to get on the route to Baltimore he spit his tobacco with a twisted smile said you have to go back about 25 miles but that's truck driving Well, I got back over on the right route. I wound it up and let it all hang out. Was almost through the Carolina State. Looked at my watch and I was three hours late, but that's truck driving. (laughs) 
A little farther up across the line, I met some cowboy that gave me the wine. I passed another truck and a couple of cars at 60 mile an hour run through radar, but that's a truck driver. Well, the trooper that stopped me, his face was frowned. He stood six foot six and weighed 300 pounds. I couldn't get a break from that hard boy cop. He hauled me off to the JP shop, but that's a truck driver. I left the JP shop at a quarter to five. I forgot I was over on my drive. I got to the scales at half past nine, and that's where I paid a big, big fine, but that's a truck driving. I left the scales and went on up the road, and I found the place I supposed to unload. The consignee there was grouching slow. A pinball machine got the rest of my dough, but that's a truck driving. I called my boss to send me 50 skins. He cussed and he swore and says, where you been? I need you back down on this end of the road. You ought to be leaving here now with another load. But that's truck driving. Well, he made me mad when he cussed me out, so I wound it up and I headed back south. I took a few pills, was running too fast, got on the wrong road and hit a low underpass. But that's truck driving. When I got back home and pulled in the yard, he cussed again, said, boy, you fired. Speaking for myself, boy, that ain't bad luck. I'd never get nowhere while driving a truck if that's a truck driving. Diesel smoke, dangerous curve. I'm driving a truck on a mountain road, I got a hot rod rig and I'm flying low. My eyes are filled with diesel smoke and these hairpin curves, they ain't no joke. Diesel smoke, dangerous curve. Out last night drinking beer with a guy, got an aching head and a bloodshot eye. Ended up with a pretty little dame, but I can't even remember her name. Diesel smoke, dangerous curve. I got another little gal at the bottom of the grade and she's got the coffee already made. Better keep my eyes on this road, I'm going downhill with a heavy load. Diesel smoke, dangerous curves. If I deliver this hot rod freight, I gotta get going, I'm running late. This mountain grade is mighty steep, I can't stay awake, I ain't had no sleep. Diesel smoke, dangerous curves. I guess I close my eyes a while, here I am, I'm running wild, I burn my brakes and strip my gears, I've got to ride her down, I fear, diesel smoke, dangerous curve. I should have left them women alone, it's too late now, I think I've gone, got to get myself out of this fix, because I know now it just won't mix, diesel smoke, dangerous curve.
This story's about an old truck driver that I saw hitchhiking up in Virginia. I picked him up and let him ride, and this is a story that he told me about getting sacked up with radar and put to walking. If you want to find radar, here's how to do it. Just get in a truck and lay right to it. When you get to Virginia by the radar stand, the trooper will be awaiting with a ticket in his hand. Have your registration, your driver's license, little money too well the funniest thing that i ever did see was a radar sitting on top of a tree and the state patrolman was sitting on the ground waiting for the truckers to come on down he's got the knockers walkie-talkie and a fast forward too Well, I'm running down the road and I'm running wild and the JP, he said with a smile, I know that boy and they'll bring him back cause I seen on the front he is wheeling a mag. I had her smoking in high gear. I was getting on it. Well, I went through the radar at 74 and the trooper said you won't do it no more. I said to the trooper, won't you turn me loose? He said, boy, they're gonna cook your goose. They'll put you to walking, hitchhiking, trying to find a job. I said to the judge, I've got no bail. He said, boy, you're going to jail. I got on the phone, calling home. I need the money. Now just one thing I'd like to know, i like to know it before I go. If the truckers all 45 would run and the state trooper couldn't catch near one and they couldn't get you with their radar gimmick, I wonder then if they'd lower the limit. truck driving man, I run him from the coast to the southern land. Hit the smoky mountains, but I have no fear. Air brakes are screaming and I'm fighting with the gears. Got a load of freight out of New Orleans, trying to miss the scales into Tennessee. A $50 fine would nearly kill my soul, eating up the profit of my dog on load. I got a baby down in Caroline, plenty of drink of her, so the chills my spine. Smoke from a diesel rolling by my van, I can hear her calling for her big footed Dan. The going gets hard, how nobody knows. The road patrol's hungry, so he flags me off the road. He said I was speeding by his radar scan, speeding up a hill with an overloaded van. I see a sign blink and says the best truck stop. I stop for a while to see what they've got. Twenty cent coffee makes me think I'm robbed. Listening to the waitress driving about her job. I got a baby down in Caroline. Just to dream about her so to chills my spine. For the nickel cigar and the whistle of the wind. I can hear her calling for her big footed den. I can hear her calling for her big footed den. I said, Pig Pen, this here's a rubber duck, and I'm about to put the hammer down. Ten 
call Roger about five miles or so. Ten Roger, them hogs is getting intense up here. By the time we got into Tulsa town, we had 85 trucks in all. But there's a roadblock up on the clover leaf and them bears is wall to wall. Yeah, them smokies was thick as bugs on a the bumper. They even had a bear in the air. I says, caught an old truck, says, here's the duck. We're about to go a hunting bear. Well, we rolled up Interstate 44 like a rocket sled on rails. We tore up all of our swindle sheets and left them setting on the scales. By the time we hit that shy town, them bears is a getting smart. They brought up some reinforcements from the Illinois National Guard. There was armored cars and tanks and jeeps and rigs of every size. Yeah, them chicken coops was full of bears and choppers filled the skies. But we shot the line and we went for broke with a thousand screaming trucks and 11 long-haired friends of Jesus and a chartreuse microbus. Yeah, rubber duck, this is Sodbuster. Uh, come on, yeah, 10 4 Sodbuster. Listen, you want to put that microbus in behind that suicide jockey? Yeah, he's holding dynamite. He needs all the help he can get. Well, we laid a strip for the Jersey Shore and prepared to cross the line. I could see the bridge was lined with bears, but I didn't have a doggone dime. I says, Big Pen, this here's a rubber duck. We just ain't gonna pay no toll. So we crashed the gate doing 98. I said, let them truckers roll 10-4. Yeah, 